Hey everyone, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen with Inner Voice Media. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow on social media for great content coming at you every day. Today I wanted to talk to you about a kind of unusual plug-in that I, I use in machine, actually I use it everywhere, um, called Track Spacer. It's made by a company called Waves Factory and it's kind of a secret weapon for an awful lot of mix engineers and it's actually pretty darn affordable too. So if you're looking to find some way to, to make busy mixes, uh, ha have some space and some depth and be able to hear some, some parts, this is a great tool for that. So what is Track Spacer? Well, Track Spacer is effectively uh, a real-time 32-band dynamic equalization plugin. So that's a whole bunch of technical stuff. So let's go ahead and, and, and I'll call it up and let's look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it here so we can look at the interface. So it's a very simple plugin and what happens when we have a lot of things traditionally we try to duck with a compressor or we try to notch with an equalizer to make room for a part that's more important say a vocal or a lead line or something like that. Uh, in this case, I've actually created kind of a, a techno noise track, and I've got three different types of noise elements as well as a beat. Let's listen to it. And so in here I've got some strikes. overdrive pluck percussion and this kind of noise beat that I put together as well as a normal old club beat and I want this beat to really stand out I don't want all this cool noise stuff to interfere with what's happening and so I could try to EQ and duck and it would just be nasty and a pain in the butt. I wouldn't even want to do that in a full-fledged audio editing based DAW. Instead, Waves Factory's Track Spacer is, a, is an awesome tool for that. So let's go back up to that. And all it is is a very simple plugin that, that looks at an incoming signal, a sidechain signal, and then notches out in real time the sidechain signal in whatever it's attached to. So in this case, I've inserted it on top of my rhythm strikes. And let's also insert it on our overdrive percussion. And so how does this work? I'm gonna come over into my group where I've got my plugin inserted. I'll just go to sidechain input and I'm gonna choose a particular thing, whether it's the kick or the snare, I'm gonna choose the whole kit because I want that kit to have some prominence. And now when I hit play, and I will mute out my other two, what we see, the blue line is the incoming signal, and the white line is the amount of equalization that's happening. So this is just how much it's getting EQ'd out of the way. And this is a filter that'll let me filter, say, if I don't want the kick to interfere or the or maybe some of the high end to be ducked out of there and that's a really powerful tool um, there are some advanced controls I can set it to pan to a particular side I can choose left right or mid side processing if I want to affect the center versus the outside of my mix, I can adjust the attack and release times, and I can do a sidechain listen. Other than that, and the ability to freeze an EQ curve that's particularly nice, that's literally all this plugin does. But it does it exceptionally well. And let me go ahead and add this into this one as well. Again, I just come over to sidechain input, and I choose my beat, and Hit play. And 
And so the cool thing is, if I bypass these plugins, I'll do this on the, the hardware. So I go to plugin, I'm on track spacer. Up here, I just hit shift bypass. Now I can do that to, oops, I don't have one there. <laughs> um, let's, let's do it without those plugins. It's powerful, but it's also kind of busy and noisy. I'm gonna go back now and reinstate those plugins. Shift and hit bypass again. Next group, shift, bypass again. And let's listen to it. I don't know about you, but to me that sounds a lot better because I can really hear the sizzle of the, of the hat. I can really hear the, the roundness and fullness of that kick. I love my other parts but they're not front and center. I've got three things competing with that beat. So this is a great tool and we can use it for a lot of things. I use it all the time in other platforms to make sure that synths aren't competing with rhythm guitars or that my vocal is not competing with elements in my main instrumental mix. So it's a very powerful tool. I recommend you check it out. I believe there's a free demo available and it's remarkably affordable. As I said before, it's definitely a secret weapon for many mix engineers, and I hope you find it useful, and that's how we use it in machine. So thank you very much for your time. I uh, hope you learned something. Until next time, I'm Steven with Inner Voice Media, and please make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great content every day. Thanks a lot. Take care.